Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 15 of the Dark Cloud 2 walkthrough. There are timestamps in the description or in a comment at the top for uh, the scoop times, or for the times where we're taking a picture to get the scoop, although one of them's up in a couple minutes right now. Master, why do you want to be a sage? Hmm, that's a good question. Maybe because everyone respects them, treats them like royalty. Hey, that's not right. Don't you mean something like, so I can save the world? <laughs> that works too. To tell the truth, I want to be the kind of person who can put everyone else at ease. Everyone can count on a sage. With a dependable person nearby, danger is always far away. That's what a sage is. Don't you think you'd want someone like that near you? Someone to count on? Yeah, I do. My hometown was an easy target for the thieves that came from the desert. Everyone was constantly on edge, never knowing when they would strike next. As a child, I often wondered, isn't there someone strong out there who can take care of these thugs? What about the sages I read about in fairy tales? Where are they? Well, I was about to find out. It was when the thieves were plundering the village one day. So casual. A single robed man showed up out of nowhere. He used mysterious magic to defeat the raiders one by one and defend the village. I thought this must be who I've been waiting for. So I asked him, are you a sage, I said? He replied, me? I'm no sage. I could never come close. A sage is a person who can defend others just by being there, he said. Just by being there? Is that even possible? That's what I want to do, if I can. So that sage was my role model. Sages are great people, aren't they? So, if you can use a lot of magic, then you can be a sage? Hmm, I wonder. Even I don't know that. <laughs> So that's it, huh? Memo Eater? That's right. It gets into people's heads and eats up their memories. Devourer of Memories, Memo Eater. <laughs> you ready, Max? Let's get it! Alright, let's go! Okay, so this is one of the missable scoops. You just gotta take a picture of this thing. Doesn't matter where or how, all you gotta do is get a picture. From what I remember, this thing's weak against swords. 
Although it's not particularly, it's not particularly strong anyway. There we go. There's some victory music playing now. <laughs> Remember, don't get rid of your scoops because we gotta show it to Donnie still. Now we can go this way. The game will let us continue now. Because we had to take care of business with the memo eater. Let's just feed our fish quickly. Priests like cheese. Okay. It's a random thing, but alright. Eh, <laughs> that did not go the way I was picturing. Okay, I, I am not doing too well right now. There we go. That's better. This thing, I can probably upgrade it now if I have the ice crystals. I don't. So that thing is pretty much just waiting on crystals. And this thing, I just need to get to plus five. And then Monica, I can just kind of leave her where she is right now. Let's just throw all the rocks at him. <laughs> Might get some more, uh... Repair powder or something. Or ride pod fuel, I mean. Almost right, almost walked right by that chest. Nice. The yo-yo barrel. Let's have Steve take care of that. Probably don't have to get the chest up there, and we don't really have to grab that yellow gate, that yellow gate thing. Although 
I mean, if there's chill crystals up in that chest, then I don't really want to skip it. So let's go and get it. <laughs> nice. That was a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's always nice getting a weapon HP fix right when you need it to. Okay, well, I mean, technically it, it was a chill elemental, just not the one that I really wanted. <laughs> Sugar cane. Okay, so there are mimics in this floor. So, the Rama priests like cheese, and he just dropped some for me, too. I'm not complaining because cheese is basically a better version of bread. <laughs> well, I mean, in this game. In real life, bread and cheese go well together. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. And I'm poisoned. Well, I mean, I just got an antidote anyway, so it's no big deal. Uh, I'm going to wait until I get this coin over here, because maybe I'll get lucky and it'll take care of that for me. Only one way to find out. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice, I got really lucky with the coins on this floor. I might have Steve handle this one. Yeah, one of these is a mimic. Or who knows, maybe both of them are. Just the one. Shortest wipeout time. Sure, why not? Yeah, for some reason, if you're on the ride pod, and um, yeah, for some reason, for some reason, if you're on the ride pod, it'll say that you're Monica when they when you move over to uh, do the speed of thing. That might be a little too hard, we'll see. Yes, it was. Oh, that wasn't great. <laughs> I think I should still have enough shots to do this, though. Yeah, more like this, probably. Yeah, that was fine. Okay, if I aim this one, like, onto the bridge, it'll probably be... Over the bridge, it'll probably be okay. I don't really have to do this one too hard, but if I do it a little harder than necessary, it should be fine. Okay. Hopefully we get this. So this is a bit more of a challenging shot. Okay, so the thing's like right around that corner. So we kinda have to get a little lucky here too, huh? Well, I don't know about lucky, but it's not too hard. Okay, beautiful. 
We just have to ricochet it off the wall and we got it. Easy. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'll say easy after we get the thing in. Oh man, that hurts. <laughs> that actually hurts. That sucks. That really sucks. It looked like it was gonna go in, and it just decided not to. Oh well. That does suck though, really. Oh, well, let's see what's in here. Well, after that endeavor, I think it's time we feed our fish. Well, it doesn't seem like they like batten, but I'm just gonna give it to them anyway. That one liked the batten. It seems like what they like does just change every time. Max's right hand weapon. We might be able to do that, let's see. I don't see why we couldn't do it. Wow, that's awesome. I love that. Getting both of those things early on. Beautiful. Okay, I let go a little too early. I'm just gonna put bread onto my hotbar. Like, pretty much every time I played, I just never done that. And I honestly, I just don't know why. Alright, let's see if this is feasible. I can deal with that number. That's not too bad. Uh, this thing's just gonna keep going up until I get more chill crystals. And I can't just buy more yet. I think at chapter 5, I want to say, that's when you can actually buy every crystal. I'm gonna take care of the guys up here first. I'm not too confident with how that dragon fight will go, we'll have to see. It'll probably be fine. Oh, well, here's a warm up for us. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so he gets. Staggered at the third hit. I don't know if the stun goes through blocks. I don't remember that. It doesn't seem like it does. Cool. 
if you get hit by um, one of their claws, or if you get hit by his claw, then he can like kind of petrify you, and you can't move, and then you just kind of stand there and die if you don't have the right item to remove the debuff. Let's take this guy out, and then we'll go into the fountain to heal up. Oh. I'm pretty sure if you get hit by that fire, it'll make you thirsty. I know, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess having extreme temperature added to your body would probably make you sweat, and when you sweat, you lose moisture, and you'll then get thirsty. Just handle these enemies here. We got Mr. Ivanov here. I always let go too early. These things spin for a really long time. I'm just gonna use the bread. Okay, we're in a good situation now. Well, I mean as good a situation as you can be when you're literally fighting a dragon. Yeah, those guys are kind of intimidating, but they're not actually that hard. I guess it had to happen eventually. Well, I guess we're eating more bread. <laughs> well, depending on what the other two enemies are, we may not even need to bother if they're easy ones. If there's a dragon, I'm definitely going to heal. No, they're easy. I didn't mean to do that. I hope that doesn't go against the, the metal. It would really suck if it does. Shortest wipeout. Okay, cool. We are going to go to the speeda. We have three shots. Although I, I can get this over there in one. Probably. <laughs> well, if I have a red shot, then I can just get this over in a, as a whole. No, oh, okay. Okay, well, I know I can get this over there. Why did I hit it harder? I should not have hit it harder. All this works too. <laughs> Okay, if I miss this, then I, I don't know what's going on. Beautiful. Well, I mean, that's three out of four medals, so I feel like we might as well get the fishing medal here as well. Alright, sorry about that cut. that's been going on, I think the townspeople have had a lot to worry about. Hopefully a bit of fishing will take their minds off it. <laughs> that's our mayor. I 
basically every 10 in games, every 10 days in game that pass, the fishing tournament will open up. Basically, you can go bring fish that you've collected and uh, just kind of turn it in and get um, rewards for it. So I have a whole bunch of fish here, actually. You only need to turn in three. But uh, there's a lot of pictures for us to actually get there. So that's probably going to be the first place that we visit in the uh, picture video after this one. Well, I'm, def I'm not getting the ride pod medal. I messed up <laughs> and swung Max's wrench. We are kind of in a time crunch anyway, now that the fishing tournament timer started. So we're pretty much just going to get the Geostone and get out of here, if possible. And there's not a lot of enemies on this floor either. Uh, never mind. <laughs> It is slowly getting to be more and more. And that did not work out. Is Max dead now? No, he's not. I have one heartthrob cherry. If that happens again, Max is probably dead. These things have a very interesting name, to say the least. <laughs> I'm taking a risk coming this way, because who knows what enemy actually has the stake. Unless we got it already. No, we didn't. So yeah, who knows what enemy actually has the stake. And am I dead? I can't swap to Monica like this. Am I dead now? Do I have a mighty healing? Because I'd rather not die. I can just eat more food. <laughs> and kind of hope that he doesn't use that thing on me again. Alright, perfect time on. Got out just in time. Sweet. Our bell triggers plus five, so we can use the Dirac gun now. I don't need anything. I don't need to do anything with that thing again. So let's put on our new stuff. Well, I mean as new as it can be. We got it literally a full chapter ago. <laughs> we just have to show the bell trigger to Max's dad before we can get rid of it. By the way, you don't need to get it to plus five to show it to Max's dad to get him to join us as a follower. All you need is a bell trigger. I just got it to plus five so I can spectrumize it for efficient point usage. I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, it's definitely not worth it. <laughs> Wait, did I get the meat already? No. The in-game hours go by too quick. Now we have treasure keys right here. We 
need to have Cedric fix up Steve for us. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of looking like we are going to clear out every enemy at this point. I have to go this way because I don't know if, like, this guy right here is sitting on the meat or something. Who knows? The only way to find out... Yeah, he. so he, we, we absolutely had to go this way because he had the meat. Okay, let's get out of here. I want to try and get this done as quick as possible so that we can get to the fishing tournament in time. It shouldn't take us too long to get this one floor done. We are gonna have... S yeah, Cedric can still fix us up, so we're gonna go over to the station super quickly. Back to the dungeon. The lighthouse appears. It's kind of dramatic. <laughs> having a cup of coffee. It's been like, for probably two or three weeks, I kind of quit coffee. Not like completely, like I was only having it on my days off. But I just kind of had it for the first time on a day that I work again. And uh, it's nice. Taking a break from, a th from things is good once in a while, but definitely not forever. <laughs> The last one handled that. Nice. I would really love to get some chill crystals. That would be great. <laughs> well, I guess it gives us some time to level our gun up. So no biggie. How does it work on this? Acceptable. Well, it's leveling up quick enough, I suppose. The dragon is tamed by a rock. No, he dodged. Well, I mean, he didn't dodge it, I just missed. <laughs> Carrot, that's helpful. I was actually being serious. It's always helpful to get um, things for feeding the fish or catching fish. Even a carrot. But it's still good to have them. They can be uh, something 
rather convenient. Because uh, if you feed your fish a carrot, it'll turn them from a male into a female. Or a female into a male. Well, the geostone's right there, so... I'm even saying that we need to hurry up, and here I am breaking rocks for no reason. Well, not no reason, but I don't need the ride pod fuel that badly. I think I already have two or three right now anyway. Two, but that's fine. I don't normally end up needing to use it too much, but it's still the kind of thing that I'd rather ha have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I think we have enough time, though. King Mimic. Now ah, we're gonna have Steve handle this. That's pretty menacing, I gotta say. Whoever modeled the dragons, they, they did good with the bone structure. Because they definitely they, they look heavy when they're charging at you. So it is actually kind of intimidating. Something I like just realized actually is this game's rated T. The entire time I thought it was rated E. Because I, I feel like this game could definitely be played by anybody. I didn't expect it to be a T rating. I've played through this whole game several times, and I don't think there's anything particularly bad, but it doesn't matter. Alright, let's get out of here. I should have expected that, but I wasn't really thinking about getting the map. This is okay, we have more time than I thought. Still better to not waste it though. Alright. So before we can actually go further in this place, we need to go to the future and buy an item. Let's just repair this because we're going to need him. All right. All the way to the future. Because it's, yeah, you know, just casually traveling a hundred years into the future again. No big deal, right? even bringing us right to where we need to go. Rarity shop, star items. Hmm. A place like that might sell a star glass. Star glass? 
A star glass is a mysterious item that can reverse the flow of time. But it can only turn back time to a moment of deep significance to the person that uses it. If we use a star glass to go back into Lin's memory, we can get back to the time when Lin and Crest were attacked. Great idea, but it won't work unless Lin can get her memory back. Right. First, let's try to get a hold of a star glass. That scene is definitely scripted for before you go to the um, the Yorta tree with Lin. One hundred percent. Oh my goodness, I'm buying that. I'm gonna get like, uh, I'm gonna get seven. Because they're expensive. Okay, uh, I'm gonna buy like three of those. Okay, and we need this star glass here. Cool, so let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's time to uh, go to the boss fight. <laughs> Yeah, we should have plenty of time to still go to the fishing contest and get pictures. That's in the next video, but... Still want to get ready for it. Alright, it's time to go to the lighthouse. So this is the lighthouse. Uh. Uh, I'm just going to unequip this. Are you ready? Yes. This moon crystal may be lighting up the ocean here, now, but one day it'll be bright enough to illuminate the whole planet. Really? How do you know? You could call it a hunch. You know everything, don't you, Master? <laughs>
So, that's the moon crystal, eh? Yes. Hmm. A stone that shows you the future. Even though all there is to see in the future is darkness and despair. What shall I do? Destroy it. Those are Emperor Griffin's orders. Yes, sir. You wait here. Max, let's go. Okay. What's going on? Who are you? We'll explain later. That's Gaspard! How did he get here? <gasps> Watch out! The lighthouse is on fire! Master! It's all right, Lynn. You wait here. Where are you going? I'm going to use the crystal. Master! Well, well. A visitor, eh? Hey, Jamming, why don't you head inside? Yes, sir. Gaspard! Remember me? It's Monica. Monica Raybrandt. Raybrandt. Yes, you must be King Raybrandt's girl. My, my. Imagine that. Running into a princess in a place like this. You tore my kingdom to bits, and you murdered my father! Now you're going to pay! Murdered? Oh, now that hurts. Your father and I fought fairly. He simply wasn't good enough to beat me. In a fair fight, my father never would have lost to the likes of you! Well then, why don't you just try me for yourself? Get ready, Gaspard! Okay. 
Dark Assassin, Gaspard. This is one of my favorite fights in the game. <laughs> it's always kind of, it's cool. It's just like a swordsman versus a swordsman. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, we're back. And we're not going to die this time, probably. <laughs> We should just heal up just in case. Where's the bread? I unequipped it from Max. I don't think I unequipped it from Max. Okay, here's a scoop. Make sure you get this. You can, you can get this scoop one other time in the game, but you should just get it now. All you gotta do is take a picture of the ship. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Let's take a picture of the flying battleship. That's the last missable scoop in this chapter. Okay, now to deal with these flames, hop on the ride pod with the barrel cannon, lock on, and just let the game do all the work. All you gotta do is press X. I'm not even joking, this is really easy. <laughs> okay, we gotta eat something. She's super weak right now against this guy. He's just only getting hit by the last hit. <laughs> So that's all the ammo and I don't want to use more weapon powder. Pretty much have to get in for melee range now. And we're probably done with that. One more, one more phase with this guy. Okay, I don't want to restart, so let's eat something. a satisfying finishing strike. Can't believe this. Well done. Your skills surpass even your father's. Accept it, you lost. Huh? 
What was that? What in blazes? We're under attack from the Moon Crystal. What should I do? Blasted wizard. Annihilate that lighthouse! Yes, sir. It's no good. The ship's going down. Get us out of here! Master, don't leave me. Lynn, you're not hurt. No, Master, but you can't die. I... I'm ready. No! You're going to be a sage! You still have a lot of training left. Lynn... You do it. Please... Fulfill my dream. No! I can't! Not without you. I know you can. You will. You, you'll be a sage. Saving people just by being there. That's the kind of sage you want to be, right? That would be nice. Wouldn't it? Master? Master? and ages. You were a sage from way back when. I was saved just by having you with me. But I'm sure you didn't want to be a sage just for me. Right, Master? You're up there watching, aren't you? I'll show you. I'll be the legendary sage you've always dreamed of becoming. We couldn't save him. I guess not. You're wrong. What do you mean? 
The future changed, all right. Now I'm going to be a sage. I promised Master Crest. And I think I'll rescue him when I become a sage myself. Good. Monica? Max? Thank you. I'll never forget you. Good luck in your battle against the evil. You bet. Take care of yourself, Lynn. Powerful consciousness from that time to ours, all by his own doing. The servants of Griffin in our time are those who are in sympathy with this consciousness. So they're all being controlled? They're acting of their own free will. They are evil from the beginning, just like Griffin himself. In other words, they've sold their souls to the darkness. Griffin is using those people and trying to destroy the world. What does he plan on getting out of that? Who knows? But I believe the only way to stop him is to go to his time and destroy him there. Go back 10,000 years? That's right. But how can we go 10,000 years in the past? Your Atlamelia can only travel 100 years at best. Those stones were never intended for this kind of thing. So what can we do? A 10,000 year leap through time? I don't even know if it's possible. But if it could be done... Go on. Those from the Luna Lab would be the ones that could do it. Luna Lab? Luna Lab is short for Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory. 
It used to be the largest research facility in the world. It was on the Venicchio coast. Was? You mean that it's vanished now too? Yes. So, the Venicchio coast is next. So, that settles it. You'd better get going. Thank you, Crest the Great Sage. See you, Lynn. <laughs> My master, watch over those children. Look after those who saved me. Lynn was a sage and had become strong. I'm sure Crest had become a star and was looking down on Lynn from above. Because for Lynn, Crest would always be the one true sage, forever. Great, you're just in time. We're ready to go again. Just let me know when you're all set to go. All righty, let's move them out. Ocean, here we come. that ocean breeze. So this is what the ocean smells like. What? You've never been to the ocean before? Yeah, well, I've seen pictures and books, though. Wow. All righty. We'll be right here waiting for you. Hey, now it's the bridge that's down. Leave it to us. Thanks a lot. So, like... We needed to come here anyway, so why does it even matter if the railroad is broken? <laughs> well, let's get going. It didn't have to be. But I guess it kind of uh, makes it so the extra characters have something to do, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe that's harsh. Oh well. Uh, we need to go back to Balance Valley and go to the future and collect our 100% Giorama award. We don't even need any of this stuff here. <laughs> well, we, we kind of need the well, actually. Although we're already at 100%, as you guys can see. I didn't actually change anything. Everything is still the exact same. Can I put this down on one? Cool. You get the extra 20% just by uh, beating the game, or like kind of clearing ch out chapter 3. Helping Lin and doing the lighthouse thing gets you the extra 10-20%. It looks like Starlight Temple has been completely restored. And it's all thanks to you two. Please, take this. If you played Dark Cloud 1, you know that the sword is in that game too. Thank you, Great Sage. <laughs>
Cool. Well, we got the Serpent Sword, the Serpent Sword, and Vinicio is unlocked. This will be our new sword now. And the Sandbreaker will just be kind of broken down for points. Sweet. Alright. Uh, so we are going to leave it here for this episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day. And in the next episode, we'll be getting all of the pictures. Bye.